Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of The Mo Show on the Real Estate Success Network. My name is Mike, and I'm your host, and each and every episode, we try to bring you useful information that you can use in your real estate business to help yourself grow. That is what we consider real estate success. And one of the things that I know many real estate agents, as well as small businesses, have an issue with is just keeping up with all of the junk when I say junk, the paperwork, the contracts, the follow-ups, et cetera, that need to be done. It's a part of your business, but what you're really, really good at is going out and getting the business. And, and some of us may have a need to have people on our team to help us with the facilitation of the contract from once we get it to the time that we close out. And I myself am a business owner in the real estate you know, sphere. I look for services and um, products that can help save time. And I was at a recent event networking um, at the Atlanta Real Estate Connections event, and I met some really, really cool guys with a really, really cool company and cool concept. And I just wanted to bring them onto the show to give them the opportunity to share some insight with us for those of you who might be looking for a virtual assistant. You can't afford to have somebody in the office on a full-time, part-time basis but you may want to work with somebody from a virtual standpoint, either overseas or here in the States, and they just wanted to come on in to share with our listeners a little bit of information to help you make the right choice. So with that being said, I want to bring to the show a gentleman by the name of Nat Smiley with Thrive Virtual Assistance. Nat, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Mike, doing great. How are you? I'm doing excellent, man. I can't complain. Um, I think you and I had the chance to see each other and connect yesterday at the Real Estate Success Live event where we had Peter Pasternak. Uh, I had a good time. What about yourself? Oh, absolutely. Great time. I think it's always a good time uh, when Peter's there. Gotcha, gotcha. I agree. And, Nat, you have your um, your cohort, your counterpart, your right-hand man um, your business partner on the line with you as well. Go, let him go ahead and introduce himself. Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh Dower with Thrive as well. Cool, cool. Josh, you uh, you were there yesterday at the event as well. Did you find it of value and, and good useful information? Absolutely. As Nat said, uh, it's always a great time when Peter's there. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I'm excited to have you guys on the phone today. Um, I won't keep you long because I know you guys have some real estate agents that you need to be assisting um, and, and managing your team with assisting those real estate agents to help them close deals. Because at the end of the day, in the game of real estate, that's how we all get paid is helping families succeed in closing deals. So you guys have a company named Thrive. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, when it got, you know, why did you start Thrive Virtual Assistance? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so we started um, after myself and Josh were both in the real estate industry. Um, we just were, were, saw the immense amount of paperwork and admin work that went into a single real estate transaction. And mm -hmm. we just saw from firsthand experience um, how much time that took and how much time uh, ourselves and other agents were, were spending on, um, on non-income producing activities in the business mm -hmm. and essentially on tasks that would just uh, bog us down and hold us, hold us from meeting with new clients and lead mm -hmm. generating and, and marketing. So, um, we really wanted to create a solution that helped agents spend their time in the areas that they needed to spend it and in the time and in the areas um, that were going to help grow their business and make them more money. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, as business owners, we have the income producing activities and we also have those non income producing activities. So when you say non income producing activities, give us a little bit insight into kind of what a VA or a Thrive does, you know, like just some listings, you know, I got it listed. Now you just kind of facilitate all the paperwork to get them set up in the office and then you, you, you that's it. Or, you know, do you help them with the buyer sign, which you get that buyer agreement, any kind of paperwork that need to be uh, helped with that. So give us a little bit, you know, kind of like the nuts and bolts. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we offer several different services. Um, okay. We offer contract, contract to close, um, which kind of like you said, takes it from uh, the minute that, that agent gets the, the contract signed on a deal, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. basically take them all the way to closing. We do, we do everything. We take care of the scheduling, the, all the coordination, the logistics, um, basically everything. Um, we also offer listing coordination, so we get mm -hmm. that, uh, that listing up into FMLS, MLS, uh, get it marketed for agents. 
we do social media management, um, and we also do marketing material design. So if you oh, have flyers wow. made, postcards, brochures, um, you know, basically all the things that, that agents uh, didn't sign up for but have to do as a part of the real estate. <laughs> you said didn't sign up for you. Yeah, that is uh... – that is true. Well, I didn't know you guys handle, you know, social, so you handle like kind of social media um, dissemination, you know, putting or distribution, putting uh, posts and all that kind of stuff out into, into the, uh, into the internet world for a real estate agent. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, oh, wow. um, you know, social media management is, is, is just a, uh, or social media marketing is, is a, uh, it's just a great uh, inexpensive way to keep a, um, your potential customers, clients, Mm. Um, and other individuals just engaged in, in your business and your product and what you're doing. Mm. Um, so we really help agents maximize that. And, and you know, it, it does take a bit of time to mm -hmm. create good content and keep that customer uh, base engaged. And that's one of the, the biggest downfalls for a lot of social media um, marketing uh, campaigns is, is just, you know, doing it consistently for a couple of weeks or a couple of months and then just kind of, not putting that time in that, that needs to be so being inconsistent with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, that's absolutely. what a lot of people see see uh, lack of professionalism, I guess. So we try and keep it consistent and keep them uh, keep that customer base engaged. Gotcha, gotcha. You know that is um, an excellent service because content marketing is where it's at now, and in reality, it's kind of always been where it's at. Just the media and platform has kind of changed. You know, people have to know who you are, and they have to know that you know what the heck you're talking about. And to your point, you just said it. You have to be consistent with that message because I may be in the market today, and I may be engaged with your Facebook page or some kind of email distribution list that you have, et cetera. But if you're not, if you're not keeping that up, if you're not keeping that engagement up, then you, you, you lose all the work that you put in to even get me as a prospect, to even get me in your circle. And so you guys, that's a great that's a that's a great tool and a great service to help real estate agents be able to manage that. You really take it off their plate. Huh. Cool, cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, well, let me ask you this question. So when somebody is thinking about hiring a DA virtual assistant service like Thrive, what are two, three, if you got more definitely give it to us, but what are a couple of key points that somebody needs to be looking out for when hiring a virtual assistant service? Yeah, I'd say, I'd say probably the most important is that they actually pick up the phone when you call. <laughs> as, uh, <laughs> as simple as that sounds, um, you know, your virtual assistant is your, your center point of contact, especially during contract close, so mm. they need to be very quick to respond. Uh, they need to be fast to respond, email, phone. Um, and then I'd, I'd say the second thing is making sure they're U.S. based and that they've got okay. a real estate background. Um, mm. You know, especially like I said with contract to close. I mean, there's a, there's very uh, uh, strict process and, and specific steps that uh, have to be done in order for for closing to go smoothly and the deal to go through. So um, you know, definitely keeping that virtual assistant in the United States, making sure mm -hmm. that they're uh, well educated in real estate is gonna. Mm -hmm definitely um, help you out there. Gotcha, gotcha. You and Josh, are you, are both you guys licensed? No, we're not both licensed. Okay. Uh, that's a good question. We get that a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I'm licensed. I'm. This is Josh uh, talking now. I'm licensed in Georgia, and okay. I hold an inactive license just so uh, we can, you know, keep things a little bit more legal. Mm -hmm, um mm -hmm and let people know that we actually do have a true understanding of real estate and the process and how things work and that I've actually been through it as an agent gotcha. and uh, done it for several agents that I used to work with. Gotcha. Gotcha. And, and Josh, you, you make a very good point. And that, that was a, that was kind of what I was going into by having someone in the management aspects of your company who is licensed, has been licensed, understands what it takes, I think really gives a company like yours a competitive advantage because I've used virtual assistants in the past, and in reality, they don't – and I say this, and I'm not, I'm not coming down on the industry, but in reality, it's hard to, 
it's hard to receive a lot of value because in the beginning you're doing a lot of coaching on your industry. You know, terminologies, the needs, et cetera. But by having somebody on staff right. like you guys who are who, who is in the industry, who's licensed, I think gives you most definitely a competitive advantage. Have you seen that in the marketplace when you when you talk to prospective clients? They've been impressed absolutely, by it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, we also uh, – another point you mentioned is, is learning your business, and mm-hmm. that's another key aspect of our company and our um, goals is to – once you call in and you use us once, mm-hmm. you're going to use the same person, you're going to use the same virtual assistant every single time from then on out, wow. so you don't have to explain your business over mm-hmm. and over and over again <laughs> to someone else each time, you know. We want to learn your business. We want to learn how you operate. We want to learn the people that you work with, your clients. Uh, just basically, you're you're hiring a team for a fraction of the cost. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now that is some really really cool um, stuff. Definitely. So before I let you guys go, um, I always believe that the proof is in the pudding. Have you had? Do you have one? Um, experience that you can share with our listeners about a particular client that you may have worked with and you know the client had raved about your service etc and you really helped them in a bind can you give us just one highlight one uh, example of you guys working with the client absolutely that's a I'm glad you asked Mike because uh, actually uh, just a few weeks ago we had a, a client come to us uh, in a in a hurry Mm-hmm. Uh, she was going out of town, but she had a listing coming up, and mm-hmm. she knew that she could count on us because she's used us before uh, to throw her listing in the MLS and FMLS and create her flyers and make her pictures look good and presentable and get them all on on the internet. Because you know, mm-hmm. when you first search a home, the home the home searching process starts on the internet. So mm-hmm. we hooked her up, and she was super thankful uh, when she landed. She called us and. Uh, she looked up the listing and said that, you know, hey, guys, you did a great job. Thank you mm. so much. I don't know what, what I would have done with this listing. She probably would have had to give it, given it to someone else mm. if we didn't take that off her hands. Wow. Wow. That is that is great. So I know people are like, man, this sounds great. You guys are basically like a virtual team, um, you know, uh, uh, your virtual line. You know, as a real estate agent, you're the quarterback, and then you got the other 10, ten team members that are – on the field trying to help you win and it's, I love the service I love the concept I love what you do but I'm sure it costs probably what a gazillion dollars each transaction uh, <laughs> <absolutely right. laughs> yeah. and you know people always ask questions you know kind of like what's the price range I know each service is, is going to vary but can you give folks just a little bit of insight into you know the price ranges that you may have available uh, for folks who may be looking to, to work with yourself or another virtual assistance company? Yeah, yeah. So um, so our contract to close, it's it's in the $300 range. It kind of depends oh, wow. on uh, on volume a little bit, and it mm-hmm. depends on uh, if you're with one of our partnered uh, offices that we partner with or, or gotcha. our preferred vendor with. We, we offer discounts um, for that as well. Um, but here's a pretty interesting t- statistic. Mm-hmm. Um, so on average, it takes the average real estate agent 19 hours to complete a uh, to process a transaction. Mm-hmm. So if you're a real estate agent making $75,000 a year and you break that down hourly, it comes out to over $700 that you have to spend in time mm. in your contract close process. Mm-hmm. So if you hand it off to a virtual assistant like us, it is it is less than half the price, and you have all that time uh, back on your hands. Wow, to go out and to generate more business. Yep. Right, and that's yep. per transaction as well. So you're gotcha. you're spending seven hundred dollars of your own time per transaction. You're wow. spending nineteen twenty hours when you, know, you could spend nineteen twenty hours lead gen. What would mm-hmm. sales look like if you were lead genning? You know, for nineteen twenty hours of of that time that you didn't have before. You thrive, and I guess that's where you guys got the name exactly. of the company from. You got to thrive. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, I tell you, I know you guys are busy in between, and I appreciate you for taking the time out to come on to the Mo Show and the Real Estate Success Network. You guys are more than welcome to come on at any time and to talk about, you know, whatever you have going on or get some great educational content material to the audience. But with that being said, 
Um, how can folks get in touch with you guys? I know we have your information set up here on the uh, the webinar podcast, but I want you guys just to tell the audience too how they can get in contact with you. So the best way way to reach us, Mike, is going to be by calling our direct line. It's mm -hmm. 800 975 Four zero seven five, and you will speak to one of us when you call that that number, either Josh or Nat. Super, super, and they can find you on the web at thriveva.com. Correct? Yep, absolutely. All right. Well, guys, I surely do appreciate you taking the time out to come on to the Mo Show and the Real Estate Success Network, where we believe in sharing your knowledge, showing people that you care, and being creative. And you guys have definitely designed a service that not only provides much needed help, but also I think is, is one that is creative with everything that you are able to do for a real estate professional. So with that being said, I wanted to say I appreciate you guys for coming on to the Mo Show. Um, we're friends, so you're more than welcome to come on at any time. And I want to say thank you to our audience for tuning in to another edition of the Mo Show on the Real Estate Success Network. And you guys have a great day. All right.